this is Mr. Chabry, and today we're going to go over the Pokemon that I'm planning on bringing to the Simple Symphony. Um, so we've been doing some of these battles um, the past few days, um, and I want to actually show you the Pokemon I'm pretty sure that I'm going to bring to it. Um, the battles start very soon, um, tomorrow actually, I think, and we're going to have some videos of me battling um, with these Pokemon up on my channel tomorrow. But um, for right now, we're going to actually look over the team, um, basically give you an idea of what I'm thinking with each of these Pokemon, um, and basically what I'm planning to do if certain counters pop up that are actually pretty good at countering some of these Pokemon. Um, so the number one Pokemon, the first one that I'm bringing, is going to be Porygon Z. Um, so Porygon Z is actually a very nice Pokemon here. Um, it's got access to Z conversion, which just makes it that much stronger, um, and... I really like the idea of changing it into a ghost type um, because if you don't know conversion changes your Pokemon's typing to the first move slot type um, and Z conversion also boost gives it a rainbow boost um, so with that it makes Porygon Z a very threatening Pokemon that has some decent bulk um, so the reason I'm going with ghost um, is because um, Porygon Z is normally weak to fighting but as a ghost type it re it's immune to fighting so if someone tries to drain punch me and I go for that Z conversion boom drain punch isn't doing anything um, our moves are going to be shadow ball um, or stab after we change into a ghost type Thunderbolt um, because it gives us some good coverage options um, of course conversion for the Z conversion and I actually went with recover um, I think recover would come in handy in certain situations um, we'll have a little bit more bulk so uh, if we need to we can get a recover off and try to take out the opponent um, stat wise we're going to go with this spread um, I think this is the spread it, it defaulted to if I remember right um, but yeah I'm just going to go with this spread because it gives us some nice bulk um, especially after a Z conversion and then we can hit things hard with that special attack the next Pokemon is going to be Entei um, so the main reason why I've got Entei here is to be an answer to Clefable. Um, so while watching a lot of people do battles, and of course while doing battles myself, I notice a lot of people bringing Clefable with Minimize. And that gets kind of annoying, trying to hit a Minimized Clefable. Um, it just, it's just hard to hit them. And Clefable is already a pretty bulky Pokemon, so it can actually take few, a few hits. Um, Entei will be holding the leftover so we can heal ourselves up. Um, of course, Pressure is the ability. Um, but the moves, I'm going with Sacred Fire. That's going to be its main move here. Um, we're going to also have Stomp. So the reason Stomp is here is, if you don't know, um, Minimize, um, it gets a boost in Evasion. But it also makes it where Stomp always hits it. Um, and that's a weird thing that people might not know. Um, stomp bypasses Minimize um, Evasion Boost. Um, of course, like Double Team is still going to affect Stomp's accuracy, but Minimize isn't. And that's why Minimize is here, only for... Uh, oh, that's why Stomp is here, only for Minimize Clefables. And um, we've got Roar. Um, say my opponent has Porygon Z out there and goes for the Z conversion. I can Roar it out, get it out of there, and, you know, basically my, make my opponent waste that boost. And we have Substitute, just in case um, I send my Pokemon out there against something that clearly my opponent doesn't want to face down an Entei. I can substitute that turn and have a chance to at least do some good damage to whatever my opponent sends in. And if my opponent sends in a physical attacker, Sacred Fire is good because that's going to mean um, that there's a good chance that I get a burn on whatever comes in. So um, I do like that, all, all of this um, together. Entei is a very solid Pokemon for my team and I like that. Um, next is Zorark. So I really like the idea of using Zorark here. It's got a lot of shenanigans it can pull. Um, mainly the illusion ability where um, it'll come out looking as if it's one of the other Pokemon on my team. And a lot of times I'll probably pair that with Conkleder. Make it look like Conkleder. Um, just because Conkleder is weak to Psychic, Zorark is immune to Psychic. And I've had a few battles while prepping where people try to use um, Psychic on my Zorark thinking it's Conkleder. Um, we're going Choice Ban. Um, choice Ban means we're going to hit things very hard with, say, a Knock Off, a Sucker Punch, um, Low Kick, or U-Turn. Um, but yeah, that's the moves we're going with here. Um, sucker Punch is probably going to be the main thing I go for. Um, if 
if I know Zoroark is faster, I will go knockoff. Um, because that gets rid of my opponent's item. Um, low kick is there just for Porygon Zs. Um, and U-turn, if I don't like the matchup, I can U-turn out. Um, next up is Conkolder. Um, I really like Conkolder in this. It's a really nice answer to Porygon Z. And that's the main reason it's here. And we're going with the Assault Vest, so that way it can take hits from Porygon Z. Um, the ability, I was originally going to go with Iron Fist. But I feel like Guts is more of a, a, a technical choice. Um, say my opponent has an Entei out there, or something that can will with me. Um, and my opponent sees that I did not have a flame orb. They might think this is a good idea. I'm going to just burn that Conkleder. But the thing is, my Conkleder actually has guts. So when they burn my Conkleder, thinking it's going to reduce its attack, it's going to boost its attack. Um, it's a very, very technical thing to hope for in a battle. Um, a lot of times, people are probably not going to try to do that. But I feel like it might help out enough times that it's worth bringing on the team. So, like I said, Assault Vest or Porygon Z. Move-wise, we got Drain Punch to heal up, Knock Off to hit Ghost Types and stuff like that. Poison Jab for Clefables um, and other fairies, and Mock Punch to hit first. Um, I think this is a pretty nice um, set of moves for Conkleder, especially if my opponent has a Porygon Z that I'm sure is going to hit Z Conversion. Um, I can go mock punch the first time, but if my opponent's already gotten that, I can go knock off um, and get some super effective damage. It's not going to do a lot because, of course, um, that stat boost and my opponent would have an item that's not knock offable, but it's there just to give us something to do against a ghost type Porygon Z. Next up is Meowstic, and Meowstic's another Pokemon I might pair up with Zorark a lot. Um, we're going to carry the Focus Sash. That's going to give us the opportunity to do, do some shenanigans with it. Um, at least two turns. Because Prankster is going to go first. The only time that this thing probably won't work that well is if my opponent has a Dark type. Um, if my opponent has a Dark type, the Alstick's basically shut down. I can like set up a Reflect or a Light Screen. But other than that, it's shut down. Um, reflect, of course, to boost the defense potential of my Pokemon. Light Screen for the special defense side. Um, Thunder Wave to slow down fast Pokemon that are threatening my Porygon Z. And Trick as a last option, just in case my opponent has something um, that's got, like, say, a Choice Ban or a Choice Scarf. Um, I feel like tricking the item off of them might be helpful. Um, of course, Focus Sash is going to make it where they survive a hit. But what I'm hoping is that that doesn't really happen. Um, that my opponent... I, I can do some chip damage before bringing the Sash upon them. Um, and the last Pokemon is going to be the last pick that I decided to go with, and that's Raikou. Um, th th so this slot, I actually had a hard time deciding what to bring. I've tried Garbodor because I've seen a lot of people using that against Porygon Zs. I feel like my Conkleder is fine enough um, for that. Um, and also, I do have my own Porygon Z. Um, so I think I might try Raikou here. Um, it's got the Iapa Berry. Um, but move-wise, we got Thunderbolt as its main move, Shadow Ball um, to hit Ghost-type Porygon Zs, and Volt Switch to switch out there if I need to. And the last move is going to be Psych Up. Um, so there's a lot of people using this competition where they're trying to boost their Pokemon. I'm hoping um, there might be a chance where I can go Psych Up with that and steal their boost. However, it feels like Psych Up's not going to be as useful. It's going to be in very specific situations where it helps me out. Um, say they have an unaware Clefable, um, it's not going to help out that much. Um, I don't I don't know if unaware bypasses evasion boost. Um, if it does, it could come in handy against a unaware Clefable going for Minimize. Um, but other than that, it, it's a very specific thing that it can do. It's got a niche pro, uh, prospect. But I got it here so I can psych up and then outspeed Porygon Z. Um... But yeah, that's basically the team. Um, Spread-wise, stat-wise, I just went ahead and used the defaults on all of them. Um, I didn't really think... I, I didn't really look and, you know, specific, uh, a specific um, spread of their stats just because I feel like this is going to be fine enough. Um, but anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. What Pokemon are you bringing to the Simple Symphony? Um, are there some Pokemon on my team that you're going to be bringing? Or is there some on my team that you're kind of scared of? Um, so anyway, 
Um, give this a thumbs up. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.